Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today the electric bike that we're reviewing is known as the Hit Road. Yeah, H-I-T-T. -T. It's a weird name, but we're not here to judge the name. We're here to judge whether an Amazon special can actually go trail riding. Let's check it out. When I say trail riding, I don't mean some crazy downhill mountain biking trails. I'm talking some gentle single track at my local park and some good old fashioned dirt and gravel roads. This isn't some high-end electric mountain bike, which you might have guessed by the fact that you can get it on Amazon, but after spending some time off-road on it, I can say that it's a surprisingly decent bike for modest trails like these. And that's especially true when you consider the price, which is generally around 750 bucks, but currently has a sale on Amazon taking $150 off the price. Link in the description below. Now don't get me wrong, this of course doesn't compare to e-bikes costing two to three times the price, and even an entry-level Trek or Giant will blow it out of the water, but I'm trying to judge it within its price class, and there it surprised me with reasonably good performance and quality. The front suspension fork doesn't feel like I can break it over my knee, which isn't a given for bikes in this price class. The tires are standard Asian brand, but work just fine for grip. The disc brakes aren't branded, but again, they seem to work just fine, so no complaints there. The LED display is not fancy, but it's bright and clear, and even the saddle is surprisingly comfortable. It even came with a pair of fenders, and while the rear fender feels acceptable, the front was so cheap and floppy that I didn't even install it. I'm not sure what you need fenders for on a trail bike, as you're gonna get dirty anyways, but hey, I guess more is more to some people. Speaking of more, now I will say that the 21 gears feels like 14 too many. But I guess if you live in a hillier area and you like flying through the gears to find your perfect ratio, then perhaps this will tickle your fancy. For me, it feels like overkill. But speaking of hills, you might want those gears for a bit more extra pedal power assistance on the steepest of hills, since the rear Bafang hub motor is just 350 watts continuous and 500 watt peak rated. That's enough for a top speed of 20 miles per hour or 32 kilometers per hour, which is plenty for a low cost e-bike. I don't really want to do class 3 speeds on this thing, so 20 miles an hour is fine by me. For a battery, we've got a lockable and removable 36 volt and 10.4 amp hour pack that offers 375 watt hours of capacity. Hit Road says they got 40 miles of range when riding at 9 miles an hour, but I'm not about to ride that slow for 4.5 hours straight. With full throttle, expect closer to 20 miles of range. The good news is that since the bike isn't overly powerful or overly fast, it's actually decently efficient, even with a modestly sized battery. And I feel like even though this is a trail bike, most people who get it will likely end up using it on pavement as more of a commuter hybrid style bike that they can still take to their local rails to trails network on the weekends for some leisurely nature rides. And that's kind of the point of the hit road. Like I said, it doesn't compare to more expensive e-bikes. But for a starter e-bike that you can grab for just over 600 bucks, it offers some good performance and decent build quality that will be sufficient for normal recreational use. I think the wheels might buckle if you took it off a sweet jump, but it's not meant for that. It's meant for a relaxing nature ride, and that's what it seems to do best. And the fact that it does it for a song means it's going to help more e-bikes become more affordable for more people. That's definitely something I can get behind. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the Hit Road electric bike. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.